3D printing isn't enough. We need something that can print through space and time. Oh look, someone just made it, so we're good. Anthony here for DNews, and we have talked about 3D printing before, how soon we'll be able to print our own household objects, our own cars, how it's gonna change our lives entirely. But wait, at TED this week, MIT's Skylar Tibbetts presented his work on 4D printing, and that is one more than three. So, what does that actually mean? Well, it means printing objects that change after they're printed. Basically, printing a raw material that folds into the shape of the final object, like printing a sheet of paper that turns itself into origami. It basically works by printing a long strand of plastic that's made of two different polymers that react differently to water. One expands and one contracts, and by intelligently mixing the two based on blueprints, the strand folds itself into the shape of the final object. Right now, it only makes two tiny objects, one that spells out MIT and one that makes a little cube. But the big idea is that eventually, we'll be able to send a huge printer down into the ocean that could build us a lab, or up into space to build us a space station. The other big advancement is the idea of environmental manufacturing. We won't need to use tons of energy, fuel, or man hours to assemble things anymore. You need a house? Just add water, or heat, or even light, eventually. The folding also only happens in one direction one time right now, so whoop, and then it's done. Tibbetts is hoping to make a polymer that's constantly reactive, so you can make things like water pipes that expand and contract, which would eliminate the need for pumps and other machinery that could break down. Imagine machines that have no moving parts to repair and don't need any humans or computers to control them. There are some limitations right now. There's a big issue with the polymer tangling up during the folding process because it's hard to predict exactly how it's going to try and fold itself. But this little folding cube is actually the hugest and most exciting thing I've seen in a long time because smart materials and manufacturing are going to change every object in the world around us. How awesome is that? And what would be the first thing that you would make with one of these? Let me know and subscribe for more D News.